Today I'm gonna show you how we're going to go from this to this. Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rahim Mehtar bringing you another video today on how to add a blur effect. That'd be cool if my autofocus focused on my hand. But how to add a blurry effect or a polka look to your photographs. Now, the reason I wanted to do a tutorial on this is that don't we all love that creamy, out-of-focus look you get out of expensive lenses? Sometimes either you just don't have the depth at your shooting location or you just can't afford that lens. And so I thought what would be cool to do is to replicate that look in Photoshop so your photos could look a lot more professional. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. I hope you guys learned something today. Don't forget to subscribe to that channel. And without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing that you always want to do in any sort of edit in Photoshop is to create a duplicate layer. Press Ctrl J or Command J to make a copy. I'm going to label this as Blur. Now before we blur this image, what I want to do is I want to separate the subject because obviously we only want to add the effect on the background. So I'm going to go to Select. I'm going to click Subject. Now Photoshop does a fantastic job selecting your subject if you have good contrast otherwise you can use your quick selection and pen tools to fix small things like this or her earring but I'm not going to do that for now because this is just for your illustration purposes I'm going to press Control J and Command J and that's going to separate my subject this is just my subject and this is my subject with the background so now I'm going to go to the blur layer I'm going to click filter blur Caution blur and you can obviously use whatever value you want to use there's obviously no limit over here I'm going to go slightly on the higher side and let's do that 37.4 that looks good to me I'm gonna click OK now as you can see it has started to look pretty good on its own however there's this weird glow that you see around the subject it's almost like the colors are bleeding. You can see the red here and the skin tones over here. And that's basic camera te techniques. When you blur things, they start to expand. And a good example is always lights in the background. So what we essentially want to do is we want to clean this edge out. And the best way to do it is to use your clone stamp tool. Now, if you don't know how to use a clone stamp tool, I would suggest for you guys to watch a tutorial on that. But essentially what it does is if I press Alt, it's going to change my cursor into this crosshair look. And if I click, and that's basically it's going to use a sample. So if I start painting it over here, you see, it's painting this area. And that's essentially what Clone Stamp Tool does. So how we are going to use the Clone Stamp Tool over here to clean all of this out is I'm going to click the Clone Stamp Tool. I'm going to create a new layer. Make sure this layer is under your subject because, again, we don't want to touch the subject. Make sure your sample is selected current and below so it only affects these layers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sampling this area because it looks similar and start painting it out. Make sure you take your time to do this properly and keep changing your sample and not using the same sample to get a more realistic look. My image looks a lot easier to do because my pattern is consistent but it can get complicated if your image is very different. And that looks pretty good. This is your before and this is your after. If I turn off my subject layer, you can see what I've essentially done is I've just erased the edges out behind my cutout. And that's what you want to do. If you have a clean plate of the background, that's even better. Now this looks pretty good. Now there are two more ways you can make this image look nicer and have a more of a professional look. One is adding more depth. So create a curves layer. Again, make sure it's under your subject and just darken the background. It just brings more focus to the subject. The next thing that you can do is add some foreground elements. Now, because I have leaves in my background, I thought it would be cool to have like a foreground leaf over here. So I just went on Google and I searched a green leaf PNG and I found this. Now all you want to do is you want to click filter, again same thing blur and Gaussian blur. This time make sure the subject is selected, the leaf over here and you can go absolutely crazy with it because it's in your foreground and click OK. 
just remember if you have foreground elements in your shot your blur needs to be more gradual rather than having the same out of focus element over the entire image just so that you sell the effect more this is your before and this is your after now if you don't want to find a PNG image or can't if you have something particular in your image you can always get away with actually using just a color that looks like it. So I'm going to sample some color from here and what you can do is you can just paint a bit of that color over here. You can try different shades so you sell the effect more and that's it. This is your before and this is your after and that's about it. That's a quick and short tutorial on how you can get a blurry effect in your photographs. If you like this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel and I shall see you guys next time. Take care.